All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. All right, I'm just messing around. Now, ABS does have a peculiar smell, but a gas mask isn't necessary all the time. All jokes aside, today we're gonna to be going down the 3D printing journey specifically with ABS. If you've never messed with ABS before, it's a thermoplastic that is known for its durability as well as its peculiar smell whenever you heat it up. So you may have heard horror stories about people printing with ABS, or you may be an absolute beginner that's looking for that perfect filament for that big print that you have coming up. If either of those cases are you, then you've come to the right place. Today's video will show you why you might want to print with ABS, some of the things that you could print with ABS, and how to print with ABS, and how to get everything set up to do that. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. First off, what exactly is ABS? It's a material that's a common thermoplastic polymer, and you'll find it in everything from Lego bricks to car parts. ABS is widely loved for its strength, toughness, and heat resistance. It's perfect for printing parts that need to withstand wear and tear. So why should you choose ABS over other materials? Well, ABS parts are durable, resistant to high temperatures, and can be sanded and painted for a finished look. But ABS isn't without its challenges. It has a higher melting point than other common materials like PLA, so you'll need a heated bed. ABS can also warp during cooling, so a stable temperature is crucial. And yes, there's a smell. When heated, ABS can give off somewhat unpleasant odor. It's not harmful in well-ventilated areas, but it's something to be aware of. Despite these challenges, ABS can be a joy to print with once you know what you're doing. Here are some tips to get you started. First, ensure your printing area is well ventilated. A good airflow will help with the smell and keep the environment safe. Second, keep the temperature consistent to avoid warping. Use a heated bed and consider using an enclosure to maintain the temperature around your print, especially if you have an X1C or a P1S or a P1P with an enclosure or a different type of printer with an enclosure. Now let's put these prints into practice. Today we're going to be printing another poop chute as well as the fan uh, support that goes inside of the X1C. So now let's get started with drying the ABS filament. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything dry. So we're going to click on there and go to, to utilities dry filament and then we'll want to select ABS is already selected we want ADC for eight hours and we'll go ahead and hit prepare All right, so we have two to dry, so it'll be 16 hours, and we have our spool cover that we printed in the PC video. So go ahead and get those loaded in the enclosure. All right, now that they're both dry, we'll get them loaded in the AMS.
All right, so before we go into the slicer, let's make sure that we go through our little guide right here. Um, so today we'll be printing with ABS. We'll be using the 4 mil, 0.4 millimeter nozzle, so that is compatible with it. Is a hardened nozzle required? No, but we have that one anywhere, anyway. Nozzle temperature is already set um, in there. I'm not gonna change any of that. And is that compatible with the AMS? Yes, it is compatible with the AMS. And the other thing that we'll look at is uh, the build plates. So the engineering plate, high temp plate, as well as the dual sided texture plate. And do we need to remove the upper glass plate? No, and as we learned in the previous section, we need to maintain a consistent temperature in there, so we'll need to have everything enclosed for this one. All right, so here's everything that we'll be printing. So here is the fan uh, support. Here's the poop chute, and I actually modified the poop chute, and as you can see, I took the bottom of it off so I could mount it on the table and do that. And then here's the logo and the ring that goes on the bamboo with the magnets to hold everything on there. And the first thing that we'll do is we actually need two of these logos, one for each side. So we'll clone that and we can hit the auto arrange button there. And then as you can see, we have the uh, ABS loaded in slots five and six here. So now we just need to select the filament with each one of these. So I have this one selected. We want this one the, with the orange ABS, which is in slot six. So I'll just press the number six right there. We'll go ahead and do these the same way. And then this one, we want the ABS, the mint green that's in slot five. So I'll tap on slot five. And we should be good to print except for this one with it being so tall like that and it moving around and everything we probably want to put a brim on it so on this plate right here we'll go to others we'll select <clears throat> i've uh, printed this one already we need an inner and an outer brim on this one to hold it down so we'll do that for that plate um so remember to do that when you slice it the other thing we, that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the right plate selected, which is the textured PEI plate. The other plates that you could use here would be the engineering plate or the high temp plate. You can't use the cool plate with that. Okay, so we've seen the slice and print several times before. Here's the three different things that we'll print. So one improvement that you could make is you could put these pieces up on this plate here. This is the way that I printed it. Um, but you could do that for a little bit more efficiency. So let's go ahead and slice all the plates and we'll go ahead and hit the print button and I'll show you the time lapses for everything. All right, and now the prints are done, so let's take a look at them. And the first one is the support for the fan. And again, the print quality here is really, really good and comparable to the print quality of the PC, as we saw with the spools and the spool holders. It's just an overall very um, high quality, very, very uh, stiff, but not super hard like the PC. So there's a little tiny give to it, but you can tell that this is gonna be durable and it's gonna last through a lot of wear and tear. Um, so really cool there. The other thing that we printed was this poop chute, right? And I did modify it to open up the bottom. Please do not use this one with the closed up bottom. You will be able to barely do any kind of multicolor prints with it. That's just not enough. But I'll have this connected to the back 
and then I just have everything go through the table into directly into a trash can. So I'll be doing it that way. And again, this turned out really, really good and I can trust that it's gonna last for a really, really long time in the back of it. So I hope you enjoyed today's prints. I hope you enjoyed this journey through printing with ABS. Uh, I don't think you need a gas mask. I don't think you need to evacuate your house in the neighborhood if you're gonna print with it. And I wouldn't be scared of printing with it. Uh, in the studio here, I have a window just off to my right here. And uh, when I'm printing materials like this, I go ahead and crack the window. So I wouldn't try to smell the X1C or your uh, printer while this stuff is printing. Um, that's probably not really good for you, um, but make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area whenever you're printing with this and you should just be fine. So hopefully this gave you the confidence to print with ABS. Hopefully this uh, helped you out to, uh, you know, determine what type of filament that you're gonna need for your next big project. And I hope everybody enjoyed this week's video. So be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much to all of my patrons and I'll see everybody next week. Thanks for watching.